This week, Google, despite pulling some of its businesses out of China seven years ago amid claims of censorship and hacking, opened a center devoted to artificial intelligence in Beijing. And Google's the only, only the latest tech giant to open up shop in China. Microsoft, IBM, and many other companies are already there, lured by massive funding for artificial intelligence from the communist regime. Artificial intelligence is one of the ways that China hopes to achieve military, economic, and cultural world domination. They call it their Made in China 2025 plan. On a previous Swap Watch on this topic, I said that American companies helping the Chinese to do this are committing economic treason. I say it's well past time that CFIUS, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, by the way, that's the crowd that was involved in the Uranium One thing you've heard about, takes a much tougher line on all of this. There is one congressman who agrees with me, Republican Robert Pittenger of North Carolina, who introduced a bill to strengthen CFIUS. He joins me tonight, but before I bring in the congressman, I just wanted to point out that we did reach out to Google to participate in this discussion, and they didn't want to do that. And also, that my wife was previously a senior executive there. Congressman, thank you so much um, for joining us tonight. Good to be with you, Steve. And, and thank you so much. Um, more importantly, thank you for, for really pushing on this issue. Now, I, un I do understand that your bill is more about um, Chinese companies investing here in America, not so much about our companies doing things over there. So first of all, I just wanted you to explain what your bill does, and then perhaps we can talk about the Google example, but just set out what your bill would do. Yes, sir. We are very concerned about foreign investments in the United States, and particularly in the case of China. Uh, President Xi made it very clear in his uh, economic message and statement uh, for uh, 2015, uh, their interest to acquire uh, cyber security related companies, mm -hmm. as well as technology companies. So he, he's made his intent uh, clear to us. To that end, since 2014, they've acquired uh, 43 semiconductor companies, 20 of which have been in the United States. Chinese investments in the U.S. since 2010 have gone from around $4.5 billion to $46 billion last year, and they're targeting our military security-related technology. Uh, these are companies that uh, have a supply chain effect with our Department of Defense. So we want to have greater oversight uh, for with CFIUS, the Committee on Foreign Investments in the U.S. CFIUS was established by President Ford in the mid-1970s, mm -hmm. and since that time it hasn't had much in terms of reform. So Senator Cornyn and I have uh, written this bill, uh, similar bills in each house, supported mm -hmm. uh, by Secretary Mnuchin, who has been a key part of writing this bill. And frankly, he sent out a, a tweet this week endorsing it. Uh, Senator Burr, mm -hmm. chairman of Intelligence Committee, uh, Ms. Feinstein, along with uh, Congressman Nunes and the House, the well, chairman I'm, I'm of our Intelligence Committee, are also part of this bill. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. That's good news. Um, I wanted to ask you to comment on this Google story. As I said, it's, it's slightly different in that it's, it's a company over there, but come off it. You know, we all know that an artificial intelligence center in Beijing run by Google, the Chinese government are going to be taking all the um, uh, intellectual property and, and all, the, all the technology from that and using it for their own ends. Don't you think we should be concerned about that? What, what do you think about that? Well, the Chinese are very strategic. Frankly, they send their young people over here to our universities uh, to learn from us, then they go back home. They hear from our best and brightest professors in the areas of technology. Uh, these are all serious concerns. Uh, my focus, as I said, has been on uh, the acquisition of American companies uh, like Lenovo or uh, ZTE or others. ZTE, we just had fined a billion dollars for selling technology to North Korea mm -hmm. and Iran. Uh, I am concerned about companies like that because there's no free and fair market over there. Any company in China is going to have enormous amount of uh, control and influence and oversight by the Chinese government. That's right. It's exactly right. Well, I, as I say, I really appreciate you taking a close look at this, and I hope you can um, really keep an eye on it in the years ahead because this is a key part of the Chinese government's um, overall strategy as a, for world domination. This is not just commercial stuff anymore. It's much more serious than that. It's about our everything national security. That, everything that deals with our uh, defense systems, uh, our military, all of this uh, technology related, the Chinese are targeting, and we've got to prevent yeah. this. Well, I th thank you so much. Couldn't agree more and appreciate you being with us tonight.